Hello, and welcome to another new episode of Married to Survival. In today's episode, I have been dropped off in the Fili Aki Island. In today's episode, I have been dropped off in the fire swamps of the Fili Aki Island. I am also joined by special guest star, Sland. Good to have you back. And without that, without any further ado, I've been dropped off in the fire swamps of the Fili Aki Island in search of the SROUS. This is, of course, might sound very similar to some viewers that are knowledgeable of certain creatures and monsters out there in the world, in which the SRUS is quite similar to the creature known as the RRUS, or Rodent of Unusual Size. However, it has one more letter and is known as the SRUS, or the Skeleton Rodent of Unusual Size. The SRUS is a far more difficult creature to find than the simple RRUS in which you can simply go to any old fire swamp and find. But no, not for Lance Catchfish. For me, I'm going to search for the skeleton version because it's a lot cooler and a lot more fun. And you know it's also a lot cooler and a lot more fun? My special guest star today. I've chosen to bring Slend along for this adventure because, well, it's been a while since we've hung out and filmed it. It's certainly been a long time since we filmed a new Married to Survival together. Also, he is an amateur skeleton enthusiast, in case his mask has not given it away. So, I thought, I'm hunting a skeleton rodent of unusual size. Might as well have Slan tag along. Here we have a very ancient drawing depicting an SRUS, and that's a, that's a person for scale. Um, they're basically like regular, very large rodents, but they're skeletons. Anyway, as you can see, it's very ferocious looking. Got very large claws. From the cage. Um, other bits of a rat. This is a very ancient and expensive piece of artwork. Depicting it. I believe it was written by one of the very first a key people. Priceless artifact. Safe in my pocket. No one's getting that. The thing to remember about the S R O U S, I got it, I got it this time, is that they are still rodents. And if there's one thing that people know about rodents, it's that they like cheese. And if there's one thing that people know about skeletons, is it's that they like dry things, baked things. And if there's something people know about unusually large things. It's that they're particularly unusual, which is why Sland and I have prepared the perfect trap to lure out these, this S-R-O-U-S. S-R- 
this big rack. And that is, of course, goldfish crackers. As you know, I've been a um, big supporter of the goldfish brand before in the past when it's come to what it is that you want to bring with you when you're surviving. I believe they've been referenced in at least an episode of Married to Survival for survival basics, you know, things you want to bring, just the bare essentials. Now, I am aware that uh, Sland has had issues with the Pepperidge Farm Company in the past. However, he's assured me that those feelings have moved past and that he just wants to move past the Chessman incident. And frankly, I, I think that's for the better. It's true. All in the past. I just want us to move on. So you've got a nice handful of goldfish. I was gonna scatter them about and hopefully in not too long we should get an SR OUS. And now, and now we wait. I mean, it's a pretty sprite episode. How was he not going to bring a sword? Lance, I forgot my gun and my sword. Wait, Slam, you forgot yours? It's alright now. I've got one more trick up my sleeve. Okay, you take your time now. I'll take care of the R S U the S R U S then. Just don't ask. The more you question, the more confusing it gets.
<sighs> it's good to be back. I'm Lance Ketchfish, and I am married to survival.